Hi, I'm Matt from Matter Hackers. Hello, I'm Fran from Mento Technical Support. And today we're looking at the Meltio M600, which is a new 3D printer that we've just added to the catalog here at Matter Hackers. Uh, Fran's here helping us install it. And so why don't you tell us a little bit about this machine and how it compares to some of the other 3D printers we've already had here at Matter Hackers. So basically this uh, LMD metal 3D printer, uh, the new thing that we came up with is the fact that we are using welding wire and not uh, powders like other solutions on the market. Mm -hmm. And basically the way it works is that uh, we have welding wire through the nozzle and then having nine lasers co-actually melting the wire over the melting point. And we are not only melting uh, the wire, but also the previous layers so that we come up with a perfect fusion between each other. That's awesome. Yeah, because usually you lay a layer down and then it's going to cool. And then if you put another layer on top, that's the problem you would have in FDM is they don't stick together well, but because you're reheating that previous layer, the bond is very strong. Exactly. Compared to if you had like a billet material, like a block of steel and you machined something out of it, if you took that same shape, but additively printed it here, like what might be the comparison between the strength of those two options? So in terms of mechanical properties, we are getting the same results as traditional manufacturing or even better ones in some cases but mainly uh, it gives you the freedom of getting what you directly want to be printing um, and you can even go farther into let's say the traditional thought of printing and you can even have like cooling channels internally or uh, print some overhangs uh, and so on that's excellent and one of the things that i learned about this machine just in the last couple of days installing it is that this machine here is uh we call dual wire we can call it which can do up to two different materials per print. So we just finished our test print here with 316 stainless steel. Yeah. But you could use a secondary material. Yeah, so normally like um, we can print with this machine up to four materials. Uh, the thing that we get is that it gives you the freedom of thinking in different ways how to get uh, uh, new parts printed in the sense that you can print, for example, like the a mold the outside part to make it cheaper, you can have it with a mild steel or a stainless steel, for example. And then the part that is going to be in touch of the, with the manufacturing process, you can make it out of H11, that is a tool steel, and that you can get different uh, characteristics on different parts of the, of the model. That's, and that like is the thing for me that really like opens my mind up to the way that this like additively manufacturing with metal directly combined with up to four different materials really lets you take on new applications beyond what you could do you know, with injection molding, with CNC machining, with subtractive manufacturing. You can do a lot more things here. So that's one thing about this machine that really excites me about it. So I don't know how well it comes through on video, but this is the input material. This is a one millimeter diameter uh, 316 stainless steel welding wire. And what this Meltio M600 has just turned that into is our sample part right here for calibration. So this is a overhang test. So you can see that we have uh, some unsupported overhang right here, and then also some like kind of positive uh, overhang there so we can see how the layers stack. And this is a 100% solid block of material that was printed in just, just a little bit over two hours. And it's been finished printing for five, 10 minutes now. And it's a little bit warm. Yeah, it's warm but like it's you know ready to handle to come off the machine and go into future processing. And mostly the machine would be ready to throw in another build plate and get started on another print right away. So when your print is finished, you just come in and unbolt your build plate. So the build plate is cold to the touch. The part is still a little bit warm and we're about 10 minutes out from this print finishing. So now with this, part finished, we can unbolt the build plate, remove it, we could slap on another build plate and get another print started right away. Uh, and then the post processing is at the very least to separate the object from the build plate, we need something like a bandsaw or some form of metal cutting to be able to cut the part off of the build plate. And also for that, you'll probably always print with a raft specifically so you have that area to separate. And so that's your finished part. And so you can see how yeah, those overhangs, those overhangs look great. Yeah, that's really good. 
And so you would cut this part off of the build plate. And then if you wanted to like super, super smooth this out, you could go into, you know, three, five axis milling machine to be able to smooth that out, do whatever you'd like, replane uh, this build plate, and then it's ready to go again. You don't have to worry about during that replaning process, like making it shorter, like getting a removing material from here because the first step of printing on this machine just like maybe some of the other fdm machines you've worked with is probing the build plate so it will come out with the tool find the height of the build plate so it knows exactly where to start so if you have to remove a couple millimeters in that replaning process the machine will handle it no problem well that's been our first look at the meltio m600 friend thank you very much for thank all your help for coming out well to learn more and to order yours today head over to matterhackers.com